extremely interested to hear your reflections on that period when Lee Harvey Oswald shot and killed President John Kennedy. Well, there's a lot more to it than Lee Harvey Oswald shooting the president, as far yes, as sir. that goes. Um, and uh, just to answer your question before you ask that, uh, there was no conspiracy, uh, it, regardless of what you think or what you've been told. I worked on this uh, several months after the thing was over with, and I shot down ever a conspiracy theory that come up. Anyway, I, when I got him and started talking to Oswald, and I asked him about shooting a police officer, he said, I didn't shoot anybody. Well, I thought it was a little strange in a way because I had worked two other police officers' murders, and usually when they were talking to him about the shooting, they, said, they would say, I didn't shoot the policeman or I didn't shoot the cop. But I finally figured out a little bit later why he answered it that way. When I was talking to him, I had no clue that he was going to be a suspect in the shooting of the president. I was talking to him strictly about the officer. I didn't have a clue that he was going to be a, a, a suspect in that later on. And that's the reason he answered it like he did, because he knew we were going to wrap him with that other one. So he was getting his denial in earlier. I didn't shoot anybody. Consequently, as he told you earlier, when I was transferring him and handcuffing myself to him, I told him, I said, uh, Lee, if anybody shoots at you, I hope uh, they're as good a shot as you are, meaning that they hit him and not me. <laughs> so, and it happened that way, fortunately. So. But uh, he just kind of laughed, and that's the first time that he laughed during the entire time he was in custody. And why did he laugh? I figured that out, too, because I complimented him on his shooting. And he, that's what he was looking for, was uh, <coughs> some credit for whatever he was good for. <coughs> 